In this video, I will show how oxygen can be extracted from the air by liquefying it. I will then use the collected liquid oxygen to do some experiments. I'm going to use this pan to try to collect some liquid oxygen. The pan, you'll notice, is made of aluminum and it's quite deep. You'll also notice a lot of folds and ridges in the pan itself. Those folds and ridges will create a lot of surface area onto which the oxygen can cool and condense. And I'll sort of balance the system here and I'll place a cup beneath it where I can collect uh, any liquid oxygen that condenses off of the aluminum pan. Now under the pan I'm going to pour some liquid nitrogen which should cool the pan to well below 90 Kelvin which is the condensation point of oxygen and you might notice very rapidly some drips starting to fall into the cup and you can hear it dropping. Those drops you see falling are drops of liquid oxygen. We're going to compare the properties of the liquid oxygen that we collected, which is in the cup on the left, with the properties of liquid nitrogen, which is in the cup on the right. The first thing to notice is a slight pale blue color in the liquid oxygen. Liquid oxygen is indeed known to have a slight blue color. Now let's try testing the magnetic properties of both of these liquids. Liquid oxygen is known to be attracted to strong magnets, whereas liquid nitrogen is not. First, let's test the liquid nitrogen. I'll place a strong neodymium magnet into the liquid nitrogen. And it doesn't look like any of the liquid is attracted to the magnet. Try it a couple more times here. I don't see any evidence of magnetic attraction. Let's try the liquid oxygen. Put the magnet in. Oh yeah, I can see some liquid being attracted to the magnet in this case. Very easy to see. Oxygen is paramagnetic, so we would expect it to be attracted to a strong magnet. Now let's test the ability of both of these liquids to support combustion. Let's test the liquid nitrogen first. I'll take this paper towel, which is a combustible material, fold it up a little bit, pour some liquid nitrogen on top. Then I'll take this butane lighter and light it up. Ooh, do you notice those white clouds? That's like butane condensation. Doesn't seem to want to light. There's some of that butane condensation again. Uh, it's going a little bit. Let's pour some nitrogen on top to put it out. Yeah, it doesn't look like liquid nitrogen supports combustion very well. Let's see how liquid oxygen does. Once again, I'll take a combustible paper towel and fold it up. We'll put a little bit of liquid oxygen on top. And try to light it with a... Oh man! That works pretty well! Ooh, you hear that pop? Well, I'd say liquid oxygen does a pretty good job of supporting combustion. I'd also argue that we've gathered some solid evidence that the liquid we obtained in this simple experiment is indeed liquid oxygen, extracted from the air.